I don't normally... I don't normally involve myself in beef. But listen, I sat down today. I loaded up YouTube after I was done with my walk. Uh, I see... I see uh, I Fergan Narco in the same title. And I'm thinking, oh... Okay, well, let me let me see let me see what this is about. Let me see what's going on here. Like, what, what's Narco saying? Because uh, if you don't know, Narco is like one of the bigger um, YouTubers when it comes to Battle Royale. All right, it's up on the screen, chat. So, my man Narcarino. Now, I don't usually involve myself in drama, but this really hit me the wrong way, chat. It really hit me the wrong way, and I feel like I have to address it to keep things... I know it only has like 6,000 views. It's whatever. Like, we have more viewers sometimes in the live stream. Like, when I got this game, we had 11,000 concurrent. But I just feel like I've got to address this because I, I think that this might blow up. Um, and I would I'd rather address it before it does than address it after. So I'll play the clip. And then I will tell you guys what I think about it. Maybe I'll pause it or we'll say it after. Yours truly on a non-sponsored video. I'd like to say Call of Duty Mobile is not dying. And anyone who says otherwise is just lying. I saw a video of Ferg saying that um, COD Mobile is not losing people and stuff like that, man. I, 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 I wish, I wish I knew how much they pay him to say that. Yeah, of course they pay him, man. Of course they pay him. That's the marketing strategy that they have to to, uh, to make this game, you know, know and come back to life. But this shit will never come back to what it was. Um, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving. If something good comes out, I'm gonna leave also. But it needs to be something good. All right, chat. So basically, if you didn't hear it, because his mic kind of sucks, is uh, he's saying, Narco was saying to his to his live chat that I was paid to make a video that COD Mobile was not dying. What did I say at the end of the video, chat? Listen, listen, listen. Ready? Call of Duty Mobile is not dying. And anyone who says otherwise is wait, just wait, wait. really on a non-sponsored video. A non-sponsored video. COD, that means COD Mobile didn't tell me to make it. That means I didn't take any money from Call of Duty Mobile to make it. That means that there was nothing done from Call of Duty Mobile to make that video. In fact, the only reason why I made it is because I seen the stats on Twitter and I thought it was an interesting argument to be made. Because everyone was spamming out videos saying, ah, it's dying, it's dying here, it's dying there. I just got the statistics, put them on the screen for you guys in a nice little, you know, a nice good graphic. You know, Heartless does the nice, the nice text, the nice good graphical text. I, I really like the text that he uses for those. Uh, but yeah, made the video, wasn't sponsored, didn't go to Call of Duty Mobile to get it sponsored, didn't want anything. I wanted it to, to for, for people to know that it was from my personal opinion and also the statistics to back up said opinion. You know what I mean? I didn't want it to be involved in COD Mobile in any way. And I've also said previously, like, I'm not I'm not against moving and, and doing different games, you know? I'm not against that. Like, go for it. It doesn't bother me. Like, I'll, I'll be playing different games here and there. But to say that I got paid to say that COD Mobile is not dying when I said that it was a non-sponsored video in, in the thing, I, like, bro, it hit me the fucking wrong way, dude. I really, when I seen that, I was like, why? Like... I said in the video that it was not sponsored. And I always disclose to you guys, like every time that I get paid for something, like the COD Mobile Partner videos, it would be different if if I had said, and this video is sponsored by Call of Duty Mobile. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Then everyone would be like, oh my God, this is, well, he was paid to say this. It was not like that. I, COD Mobile had no idea I was making that video. They had no idea. And bro, I talk shit on COD Mobile all the time. I literally, and he, knew, he didn't even take that into account. Anytime there's something wrong that I don't like in COD Mobile, I'll openly talk badly about it and say that they need to fix it. So for him to like put me in like a separate category of like, oh, he's just paid to do this. He's just, he gets paid for this. He gets paid. Did anyone with COD Mobile Partner in, like this video is supposed to be a COD Mobile Partner. They have been given money. All right. It's not just me that was, was got a cool deal with COD Mobile. And to be honest, I have been in the game since the beta. You know what I'm. You know what I'm saying. Like I ha I was. I'm the longest 
riding cod mobile creator i've been here since the earliest point i've re read the wave the whole way through even when the game died at the end of 2019 at the start of 2020 i was still loving it i was still grinding it like i love call of duty mobile that's just the way it is dude and i if i see statistics that back up the fact that it's not dying I, i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna promote them you know i'm gonna promote that statistics like saying that like i'll still play other games you know once once another game that is good that is it could be slightly better than cod mobile i'll still i'll i'll play it but right now i i still think cod mobile is the best mobile game even though sometimes i'm a cry baby and i'll be like ah oh, this isn't fucking thanks but that's like a spur of the moment like i died out of a glitch you know what i mean like that's one of those like I, like not controlling my emotion things but as for this this really made me upset to like for me to have to defend my integrity because of this what this person said on the stream really hit me the wrong way and i, I commented on it see 24 minutes ago i said the fact narco said that i was paid to say that is insane considering it was a non-sponsored video non-sponsored it there was no sponsors i showed all the statistics with proof the game is not dying just because he doesn't enjoy it doesn't mean it's dead i feel like that's a very big statement for for example like what what game is really popping all right for example fortnite fortnite is not on its prime currently right everyone would agree that fortnite is not on its prime but to say the game is dead or the like it's out of the mix of like the top games fortnite is still one of the biggest games on the planet i think it goes like I'm pretty sure it goes Minecraft, League of Legends, Fortnite, and Warzone are like the biggest games on console and PC. You know what I mean? And just because it's not the same for you or it doesn't make you feel a certain way like it used to doesn't mean that it's dying or dead. It just means that you've played loads of the game and maybe you should like try and freshen things up a bit, you know, do something different, which like he said in the clip, he will do if a, if a pop, a pop in a mobile game might, you might. But yeah, I said at the end, this was kind of a dig. This is kind of a bit of a beef right here. It was pretty, I was pretty salty in the last line. Seems to me like he states his opinion as fact instead of actually looking at the real facts. Kind of sad. That was definitely, I was salty when I wrote that. And I feel like it's a fact, I feel like it's just, I feel like it's a just statement because he d tried to take out my integrity. You know, I, I did not, I did not like that at all. I always disclose if a video is sponsored or if I've been paid for something or anything like that. But yeah. I just had to, I had to, you know, say what I had to say. I, I think Narco is a good content creator. I'll say, I'll tell that. I like Narco. I think he, he's a really good player. Um, I don't know if he plays that much anymore compared to where he was, but like 2020, uh, back then, he was really, really good at Battle Royale. I haven't watched him too much recently, but uh, yeah, he was, he was a really good content creator back then. He made banger videos like the, oh, what was his intro, dude? Oh... Uh... I can't remember what his intro is, but it had like a voiceover of like something that you get from Fiverr. It's like you get something, you pay somebody to say something for you. It had one of those things. <clears throat> um, Narco didn't post this vid, Mikey. It was on a stream. He, he talked about it in stream and then this guy just clipped it. You know, like I feel like me and Narco get clipped the most. So anything that me and Narco, like somebody will clip this and post it on Twitter. Like Ferg replied to Narco or like something like that. You know what I mean? I don't feel like anyone else gets it as much as me and Narco do. I, I do see sometimes Bobby will get one or two, one or two a month or so. But I've really been seeing the card Narco gets clipped all the time. I never see Parker get clipped. But yeah, and then like, because the narrative is, is like this in the video, I've seen some comments as well. <clears throat> like, I agree with Narco in this one. Ferg is a card and partner. We all know that. That doesn't like... There's not a fucking line in the COD Mobile partnership agreement that says if you speak out against bad things in COD Mobile, we will end your partnership. Like I've done, I've been partnered with Call of Duty Mobile for like a year and a half. And I have spat so much shit in their direction. And I get like, they're like, you better like come through this or, but I always come back. And the only reason I do that is because I feel like in the position that I am in, I have the par per se to like speak up for everyone because there's not really much they can do when it comes to like the biggest creator on the platform. So I always go to them and I'm always like, here, like this needs to be fixed, that needs to be fixed, or you know, I'll make a video about it, like fix this, fix that, that needs to be done. Like I've always done that. And now he's got people like thinking that because I'm a COD mobile partner, I, like I'm, I'm for, for some reason, like I'm paid not to say things negative about the game. 
but I always talk shit about the game if I don't like something. That's never gonna stop. Like I, that was a thing in my agreement. Like I, like I'm always allowed to speak my opinion, and it's got me in trouble a couple of times. But I've always, I've just kept true to myself and just kept speaking um my opinion. I get this this comment though to be unbiased for speaking about the multiplayer perspective, but to be honest, I haven't played multiplayer this year. All I've played is battle royale, and I've been loving it. Um, I love that blackout map. The blackout map is great. It's amazing. Um, I do agree with this though. The guy at the end of the comment, the bot lobbies. We haven't had one of those in like two or three days. We haven't had a, a bot lobby in a, in a long time. <clears throat> but yeah, those are only the really uh, bad comments that I've seen. But I have nothing against Narco. I just feel like this really rubbed me the wrong way and I wanted to address it because I felt like um, it was just like, I felt like maybe he was in a game and he died, right? He died in a really bad way and he's pissed. So he's already annoyed. And then somebody went into his chat and said, did you see what Ferg said about it like this and this? And then he's already inflamed and he's enraged and he hits the game at the current. Like in that particular 10 second span, he was already mad. You know, he's already emotional about how annoying the game is for him. So he just kind of like decided to just take a jab, you know, take a jab at me. If that makes sense. It's like, if I'm having a really bad day, and somebody says I'm bad in the, in the, or somebody says like, you're shit, why are you not 1v4ing squads? Like my automatic reaction when I'm having a bad day is to be like, fuck you, dude. Like, I don't want to deal with you. None of that stuff. And I feel like that's what happened in this clip is like somebody said something off-putting to him and he just, he just went in because he was having a bad day. That's how I, I'm viewing it. But uh, yeah, I just thought I had to address that chat. I felt like it was worth addressing and letting you guys know that that video that I uploaded, the uh, God is dying video. This one, eight days ago, called Mobile is Dying, dot, dot, dot. It was not sponsored. It came from, um, it came from statistics. I had stuff to back it up. Uh, no hit to anyone that says that Codable is Dying. They can have their own opinion, but the, the statistics are there. And we will see in the next, let's say, six months. Okay, we'll see in the like, next six months whether or not it goes downhill or whether or not it goes uphill. But uh, yeah, let's get into the game.